Hey folks, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, Reading Rainbow is back. A real life transporter. MIT makes selfies better. Comments crash the FCC. And, yes, I'm gonna say it, a robot that's gonna kill us all. It all starts now. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. John is hard at work doing something on his computer. I'm making I don't know notes what. because before we got started, I said if that people had any questions that they wanted us to specifically address, throw them in the chat room. Okay. And right now I'm trying to capture those questions, you know. Okay, fair enough. Can you use a classic you know Wacom pen with the <clears throat> companion? Yes, yes, you can. You can use a normal, this thing, this tablet that I have, you can use the pin on it as well. So uh, you have a big announcement today. Do uh, I? Your dad is turning 70. That's right. Not so today. happy birthday to your dad. Not today, but in like very, very soon, yes. he is turning 70. So we're celebrating his birthday tonight. And for for that, your brother is in town. My brother's in Kurt town. Kirk Pose. He and you know the what? Nieces. Having, having Kirk and John in the same town never Ooh. turns out well at all. It's scary. In fact, I think we're violating some kind of a yeah. law. Of physics if you're or in Dallas, do you something. feel the ground shaking? Because yeah. that's what it is. They don't. Typically, we're not experiencing an earthquake. We're experiencing two Poe's brothers in town. We're supposed to be no closer than 250 miles per apart. And Dave, that was where. Okay. But. <laughs> Wow. The, these are the things that happen when. Um, That's what happens when two, Kurt and John are yeah, together in the same area. Uh, apparently. A, an old man in a bikini. <laughs> nice. the, I don't even know what that's about. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't even know uh, how that came about. It's awesome. Yeah, those Boston iced teas. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Oh. What? Speaking of which, I can't tell them. What? What were you? No, that's all right. You can't tell what? Who? Nothing. You can't I, tell the I viewers? I will hold the secret off, yes. Oh. I'm... About what we're trying tonight. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think you're allowed to tell that. I don't think I am. Hang on. You can't say what we're trying tonight. I'll tell you later. <laughs> At the party. Oh. Okay. <laughs> just, for what? It sounds mm. dirty. And then you're like, I'm not going to tell you. We'll be back after this. <laughs> By the way, today's show is the informal kind we're not recording this for TV so that means no commercial breaks we just chat all the time do whatever we want yeah just have some uh, fun Paris wants to know have I tried any new quadcopters not lately we haven't let him there are a couple that I want to try but to be honest a they won't let me near them B uh, we've been a little busy, so... You know, I really wish you would let me go through my plan because okay. I had segues. Go ahead, but sorry. But you ruined Please. it already, go. so... Just go. Like the segues? It's also... <laughs> it's also the 30th birthday of Tetris. It is indeed. That was supposed I to guess. go along with the 70th birthday of John John's dad, and then that he started talking about other stuff like quadcopters, and so that got broken up. He was 40 when Tetris was born. Right. Good math there. He's rolled. What year, what year was it? What year was it? Guys? I don't know. Happy well, birthday to Tetris. If it's 30. I don't I don't know how to do math. How old are you? Oh. I have no idea how old I am now. Can we cut you open to count the rings? Yes. We are using a brand new piece of equipment today. What you're watching is being recorded and streamed and switched by the new TriCaster 8000. Oh, that is freaky. What are you doing? Whoa. What are you even doing? I like it, but I'm just asking, what are you doing? I don't know. The new tech TriCaster 8000 is the newest, Woo. most powerful device known to man. It is literally the most powerful TriCaster ever made. I, I think it's the most and powerful device ever known to man. There is a red button on the control <laughs> panel that no one is allowed to touch. <laughs> Happy birthday Ever. to John Sr. Oh, the old man is here. He's here. <laughs> he just walked in. That's right. We My were just talking here. about you. That's right. We were just talking about it. <laughs> you. <laughs> so, um. Jindy was giving uh, uh, Cubby props. She said, nice oh. camera angle rolling in. Kudos to the camera operator. That's Cubby. That was Cubby today. If you don't know who Cubby is, go watch the latest Geek House video. Mm -hmm. 
And if that's your yeah. first experience, hey Pop, Cubby, what do you think about our rolling? I apologize. Uh, 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 Isn't it tool, beautiful? Tool chest there. We got a new tool chest. Should we show it off? That I had nothing to do with putting together. We'll show it off. What the heck? It's an informal show. Who cares? We're gonna show. Let's it off. do it. Here's my dad, everybody. Everybody say happy birthday to Pop. He's turning 70. So I can't believe he made it. Good God. Yeah. Adjust my mic. Yeah, it's on your side. Bobbage says, did John's brother just walk in? They look just the same. Oh, nice. Nice. This is our new, this is our new rolling tool chest. Uh, we're gonna be using it at the at the Geek House. Mark, that is a good question, Hawkman. I haven't seen Mark Bolden in a while. I don't know what happened. I'm to pissed, him. pissed at Mark Bolden because he hasn't shown up in a while. So that is a beautiful yeah, a nice tool chest. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, do you, yeah. Do you even know what tools to put in there? No. Who said we needed tools? We just uh, need to have an awesome tool chest. Right. Exactly. See, so it's got a nice workbench wow. surface here. It'll hold a lot of weight. <laughs> You don't weigh much, John. And I'm back. <laughs> um, all right, what else? Let's see. Uh, I don't know what these notes are. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not let John light the candles on his dad's cake. <laughs> He'll be using a blowtorch. Oh, did I break my microphone again? Oh, you're always breaking your microphone. So, um, oh, Ryan, Texas Mass says, uh, fix the squeakiness. Yeah, I'll have to, I don't know have why to oil the it up. are squeaking, they're hey, brand new. John, John's dad makes that sound no matter what we do. Right. <laughs> 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 like he said grease. Uh, all right, so we have an important announcement while John fixes his uh, his mic. It must be something she doesn't want me to comment on. <laughs> so um, we will not be live for the next month. We will not have... Now my mic is going. Can you hear no, me? No, my mic is fine. How am I fluctuating? Okay. Um, so anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we will not have a live show for the next four weeks. Now that doesn't mean we won't, you know, turn on the, the drop cams and be, be live that way, but we're not going to do an official Geek Beat Live because, and John Russa and everybody else in the chat room. John Rush. Ru Sorry, oh, I misspelled. You said Russia. I was. I, I know. He, she's like, who's John Russ Russa? I know who John Rush it's is. It's John Rush. Thank you, John. It's John Rush <laughs> asked. John Rush. John Rush asked. That was why that no was live to be. show for five, four weeks. <laughs> so um, this is the last show. Oh, let's show off the studio. You can say goodbye to the studio as it stands because it will be torn down by the end of next week. Let's be clear, folks. This is it. This is the last time. The last... Th I hope you feel nostalgic. It's been a good few years that we've been here. Three... Over three years. But this is it. This Say goodbye, because from now on, we don't know what's coming next, but it ain't going to be this. So we will be moving into the Geek House as soon as we get the uh, certificate of occupancy. There are still some stuff that's being worked out and done and, you know, finishing, but... We also have to go to CE Week, so we have to take our yearly June New York trip, and we have to be out of here on the 18th. So in order to do that and move and everything else in between, we've got to tear everything down and start getting it out of here. Yeah. How do you yep. feel, John? The last one. I don't know. Right now, it's not hitting me because I've got so much going through my mind that... Uh, I, I am not yet feeling kind of, quote, emotional about this. Yeah, but, I'm not either. I'm trying uh, here. But, Dang. you know, you guys will be able to watch as we, as we start literally tearing everything down and packing things up here on the drop cams yeah, over the next... Yeah, geekbeat.tv uh, slash drop cam. Yeah, over the next uh, couple of weeks. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just the first part of our journey. And I guess if there was anything I was emotional about, it would be you guys for helping us make it happen because... We yes. literally could not do it without you. And all of the, those of you who are patrons, uh, who contribute to the show each month, 
and those of you who have contributed to our helping us uh, build the new building, yeah. this is this is yours as much as it is ours, and this and your it's geek house. it's it's just amazing to be part of this journey yeah, and, and it really part of this is. community. It's been so incredible. we incredible. We hey, appreciate just it. Just a quick note for everybody that is using the um, using the podcast that subscribes to the podcast. Oh, yeah. I've been holding off a little bit in um. anticipation of some of this. So I've got like four episodes that including this one that I'll be releasing over oh. the next four weeks. I'll have them scheduled out. Okay. Nice. So they should be able to watch one each week and then pick up with our next live show and you know Nicely done, Dave. Very nice. That's right. My forgetfulness <laughs> and laziness has finally paid off. Right. <laughs> right. J Jacob says I'm renting your old office. I'll be working in John's office. Nice. And so, more tech TV said, with the end of the current Geek Bee studio, my studio finally gets started. Joey Sweet Tech, uh, do you have new drop cams up for seamless streaming or will they be down? We already have drop cams up in the new Geek House. Uh, we will leave these drop cams up in this office as we tear down everything. They'll be the, last, the last thing we thing take out. Go. So you'll be able to watch that. Don't worry. And um, and also, The Daily Show will have plenty of more episodes that we're pre-producing next week mm. uh, out of this studio. So it's not like this is the last time you're seeing it, but the last live show at least. Um, let's see. With the end of the current Geek Beat studio, my studio finally gets started. I more said tech that. TV. Oh, you did? I don't listen That's to you. Okay. I'm I sorry. <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Uh, Bobbage wanted to know how much is our new one gigabit oh, connection going to cost us at I the new building? I thought he meant how much is the internet, like, uh, as a whole. It's big. Okay. It's big. <laughs> we can download the whole thing now when we get to the new building, though. But <laughs> right. What we, um, you know what? Uh, we're going to reserve the answer to that until later on. Because, to be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not entirely certain that we're supposed to be disclosing everything about that. But I will tell you this, a full one gigabit business class type connection like the one we're getting would typically cost, depending on different factors, up to 10K per month. That's how expensive a full one gigabit of internet, backbone node connected, non-diluted internet. John Is the building Russia getting Google Fiber? No, Joey, what's no. happening? So, yeah, we didn't, not everybody heard this. You but missed my joke. Go, John well, Russia wants to know if it's one oh. gig up or one gig and one gig down. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Yes. So, what's happening is <laughs> Time Warner is providing us a full one gigabit bi directional commercial grade internet connection. What does that mean? That means. That means pure awesome. Yeah, that means in their like uh, switch architecture that's connected to a ba to the backbone, they have a giant switch, and one of those ports on that switch is a one gigabit port that our fiber cable is plugged <laughs> into, and on the other, then they ran a fiber all the way across town to us physically, literally. They literally ran a fiber miles and miles and miles across town. They buried it underground. In fact, they... We have video that we're going to show you. We will show you later. Don't and they, they damaged the neighbor's water line in the process. We had to go make nice to the neighbors. All kinds of stuff. Okay, they, they brought a fiber all the way across town and plugged it in to our switch with one gig. It's not, it's not a shared service where you have hundreds of people in a neighborhood sharing one. It's just one gig for us. Bam. And that, my friends, usually costs up to $10,000 a month. Yep. For example, the one next to us on yep. the switch, uh, th it may be going to HostGator. Yeah. To oh, tech that, or is, or that is to correct. A, to a Google data center. Yes. To be clear, the, the port beside our port is some other commercial entity, right. not one that has, you know, 20 people in their building. I mean, <laughs> m most businesses would not even have anywhere near this level of connectivity. But guess what's going to happen? When you guys come to visit us at the Geek House, you can like hop on our Wi-Fi network and do a speed test. Yeah. It'll be like 987 meg down. And you'll right. be like, woo! Ha. Now, somebody asked earlier, and I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was because John was talking so much. Um, <laughs> uh, if... Uh, now I forgot the question. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was that? Um, 
Oh, no, somebody said uh, that we won't have to turn off all the drop cams during the live show now. That's right. That's what that means. That if, if We won't have to turn anything in off, ever. real man's terms. Yes. Yes. All right. So, uh, Ryan, uh, John has already unboxed his Google Glass, and they are in the hands of... The doctor. Yeah. The doctor. My eye doctor. Not Doctor Who. My, but he might as well be. My doctor, Dr. Murray Johnson in Dallas, who's awesome. He's been my eye doctor for 24 years. I can't believe he hasn't kicked me out yet. But me anyway, too. they've I got my frames. They haven't they've got out. my frames. They're making my glasses because remember, I'm getting prescription Google glasses, which now that I think about it, you know what? I have never seen anybody with them on it. With with Google Glasses, with uh, prescriptions. Yeah. I, I have only I have ever seen the ones that like they right. come. So I don't know, maybe I'll be giving you guys your first view of actual prescription ones. Yep. My doctor said he's only done about ten pairs in total. So um, so anyway, they would they should be here, I'm told, before our New York trip. Because okay. I told them I need them I need them for the road. Yeah, good. So Fantastic. within the next couple of weeks, I'll get them and I'll take some pictures and maybe we'll do a little video or something about yeah. them so you guys can see them. Just on back on the uh, Time Warner connection, Martin uh, Kotze says, oh, wow, broadband in South Africa is typically referred to as one meg line. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I think maybe Bruce, have to come here. Bruce asked how long our, our backhaul was on the fiber. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but I think it was three or four miles Yeah. or something like that. I don't know. I think oh. it's less than five miles, but it was several miles. And in Dallas, yeah. that's a big deal because if we were in some rural area, it's five miles. But here, like five miles through heavy city traffic and under roads and everything, it's, it's hard to pull fiber that. Yeah. It's very expensive. Uh, and by the way, speaking of the Geek House, mm. we went over there today because they've gotten all the ceiling tiles in. Oh, yeah. And we did a little test. Did, yeah, how did that work out? It actually worked out really well. Tell them, so tell we, them about it. Uh, we've always been nervous. We told the contractor, okay, we really want everything to be soundproof. Like, I don't want to hear anything from office to office, even side-by-side -side offices. Exactly. I don't want to hear John. So um, ignore, ignore me just banging on your walls right. for no reason. Exactly. So we went over and uh, did some tests in the offices. John yelled a bunch. He's losing his voice. And I couldn't hear anything. She was happy. I'm so excited. And the quiet rooms are actually quiet. I literally could not understand what John said. So I'm so excited by that. I don't know. I'm geeking out about weird things this week. All right. Speaking of geeking out, let's actually, actually get to. Weird all week. I have she, been weird. She's I've been, been sickly. weird my entire life. Yeah, but it really showed up. This <laughs> <week>. <laughs> it did. Oh, Ryan says we should do a behind the scenes at the Dallas Zoo. That would be really cool. Maybe. Yeah, that would be cool. I'm not sure if they'll let us anywhere near the animals. My cousin. They'll let me near the animals. I'm not sure they'll let me anywhere near the animals, but we can ask. Jillian went there on Monday. Okay. Yes. We are going to start the show because Ben actually did work. And, I am so uh, excited about this story. Okay. Do you guys know Reading Rainbow? Okay, I never every, watched it. I don't, I don't I understand that. Play, the, play no the, wonder, the intro. No wonder you're like you. Let's I've just play it. it. Oh, that ain't the That's me That's not and the John. Button. Hang on, this is the button. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. Ah, that brings back such memories. Have you seen the show? Oh my god, I grew up on this show. In school, we literally watched this show as part of our curriculum. Are you serious? Yes. It's all about, it was all about, you know, making books fun and creativity and education. Mm. It was a fantastic show that most people in this world know. I don't know how you missed out on this. Well, I was... You know about it in Zimbabwe. I mean, it's LeVar Burton, for goodness sakes. I was born in 257 AD, okay? <laughs> I know you're a vampire. This is a little behind my time. I learned to read a little bit, you know, a few... 
millennia before that. We so I don't know. Sanskrit. <laughs> right. I, yeah. So I don't know. The, the show was on from 1983 to 2009, I believe. Um, and the anyway, I grew up on it. I loved it was this show. 1983. Yeah. 1983. Yeah, that's when it, it started. Awesome. What? You I was like, literally a teenager. Yeah. I didn't need that show when I was a teenager, okay? Sure. Fine. Hey, Fair it enough. You had to do in regular school work. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Yeah. I'm not saying I could Wait, read, but you're I'm the not same saying I could age. read. How did you get Why I used did you watch it all the time? 4th grade, 5th grade, 6th grade, they would wheel in a TV. I'm a little older than him, but it's awesome. Yeah. Well, not, not much. much. PBS. You can watch it like every Right. Time. It was on PBS. Well, anyway, we LeVar Burton. We were um, poor. My father was a stupid immigrant. You know who LeVar Burton is, right? <laughs> he was just Hey! Pathetic. Wow! <laughs> Happy birthday, Pop! Uh -huh. Anyway, you know who LeVar Burton is, right? They couldn't even speak English in my house. He has ignored me on that question for three times, so I'm gonna guess he does. Yes, I know who Jordy LaForge is. Wow! All right, so he is coming back to Kickstarter, and he said, let's kick this back well, up. I have a question. Is he coming to the Geek House for our grand opening? I'm going to reach out to him. I actually found his contact information. If he doesn't come to the, gre to the grand opening, then I don't want to hear any more about it. But if he does, <laughs> he is my best friend. So, uh, uh, and he uh, was Kunta Quinte in Roots. Yes. That is correct. Yes. Wow, they upped the goal to five million. Yes. So oh, yeah, they they had it at um, a million, and it just blew through that. That was like in the first six hours. Yeah, it's at three and a half million now. So their new goal, their you know uh, extended goal, is five million. Anyway, I'm super excited by this, and it's a little old news, but. It's it's worth talking about. We already talked about this last week. Why we did are we not talk about it we last week. We did talk about it last week. We did? It was on the show last week. Oh, I don't remember talking about it. Last week was right when they launched it, and we said okay. it was already like at one and a half million hours after it was launched. <laughs> Let's Where move on. I? Show number two, I mean, story number two is much did better. Did you do a show without me? <laughs> Netflix actually put out a... Uh, uh, a a test like that what it's hard to even explain what they did but they have a See, thing they're where saying it was they're not putting, a segment yeah it was we mentioned they're, it in a break they're putting out banners on this show like this one that says the Verizon network is crowded right now <laughs> adjusting video for smoother playback okay another blow for net neutrality right <laughs> and uh Verizon didn't like that. In fact, Verizon is threatening to sue them, which is funny considering that they just signed a big deal to give Verizon money right. because they were hijacked yep. and held at gunpoint that they wouldn't get good delivery. Right. And Verizon's saying, no, it's not our fault. It's your fault, Netflix, who, who has big, massive data centers and is the most experienced streaming video company in the world right now. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's your fault. You can't deliver the service properly. That's what Verizon would have to say about that. Okay. All right. And that's which that story. Why, which is why we're getting our service from Time Warner. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I got to say, Time Warner is the worst ranked customer service company out there. We reported on that weeks ago. Right. So the, the good news for us is... That's not the experience we've had with Time Warner's commercial business group. To, in complete honesty, they have been great. In like our uh, Brooke Linder is our yes. uh, uh, account representative. She is awesome. If anybody anywhere in the country needs internet service yeah. for your business, she just is ping the one of us. To go to ping one of us. We'll put you in contact with her. Mm -hmm. She's awesome. She'll she'll get you taken care of. So let's not confuse what happens on the business side with the consumer side, but. Time Warner has been very poorly rated in the consumer yeah. index or whatever. And Them hope, and Comcast, right. all the cable companies. I mean, I hope to see that change because we there all do. has been, you know, a lot of talk about it, and they they know it's a problem. So, I, you know, I hope to see that that uh, changes and increases. But over we the still need net years. neutrality, and if you guys haven't seen it, you need to go to my Google Plus post yep. from just like an hour ago and see this video. John uh, Oliver uh, post it actually spent 13 minutes discussing net neutrality on TV. Yeah, that's a big that deal. That is like unheard of. And it is one of the funniest things I have ever it's seen. It's a good segment. 
is awesome. Did you watch the whole thing? I did not watch the whole thing I, because I, I was on I was I, in a meeting. I posted it on Facebook. Yeah. I, I loved it. I couldn't stop watching it. It was that good. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. So, um, anyway, go check that out. Do we want to play a little bit of it here? We actually can't play. Okay. Get away with audio we, we can't play the audio because we'll get kicked off YouTube. But nice. Look at, this. Look at this. Download speeds by country. Yeah. We are worse than Estonia. Right. Estonia is faster than us. <laughs> nice. As he said, a country that obviously <laughs> is still worried about Shrek attacks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Moving, Moving on, on to not having a commercial break. No yeah, commercial breaks today. No commercial today. breaks. We, uh, uh, as you know. Gadget time. Yeah. As you know, uh, WWDC was this week. How do you know that they know that? If you didn't know WWDC was this week, if you pay attention to the show, then you knew that it was WWDC. I don't and pay I'm attention to the show. I'm just going to try and figure out how many times I can say the word WWDC just because it's fun to say WWDC. <laughs> I was waiting for you to take over at any moment. When I hear WWDC, <laughs> all I think of is either World Wrestling Federation or World Wildlife Federation. Worldwide well, Developer and then Conference. I, wonderful Dave Curley. And then what I think about is the World Wrestling Wildlife Federation, where their logo is two pandas, one of them smashing a chair over the head of the other one. <laughs> well, this actually stands for a Worldwide Developer Conference. Oh, right, okay. From Apple. And they announced the new uh, Mac OS. Um, and called Yosemite, and they also announced the new uh, mobile OS, the iOS. iOS 8. 8. And so we're not going to go have, into all the they details have some right cool here. some cool stuff coming out. But if you want to go to geekbeat.tv, you can check out the video I did on that yesterday. Oh. Or you could watch the entire. Yesterday. You could watch the entire two-hour thing. Did we post that, Dave Curley? Yes, we did. Okay. That is out too. We did a live coverage of that as well. Who, who's got the link? Somebody put it in the chat room. Somebody's got a link. Or you I know can go it. to geeky.tv slash live 141. Oh, yeah, that's true. Did you I get could that right, that. Dave? Yeah. One, wow. 141? I'm impressed with myself. They've let us do 141 weeks of this. I don't know. <laughs> Good I don't Lord. Know. <laughs> I well, think we might have sped up the numbers. In the, the, uh, well, you on know, the more the, important the things. The thing that I would just like to point out before we do this next uh, story is that all kinds of leading edge research is taking place at Harvard University in Boston. And but MIT, uh, MIT is actually brings working you on the more important things in life. Selfie pictures. Selfies. MIT, this is what they do over but you at MIT. Know what? It's it's more important than selfies because it's making selfies art. It's making selfies better. Yeah. And we all I know that selfies, well, they are the thing of the now. So um, they are working on taking, you can basically take a selfie, uh -huh. and then you can take a famous portrait, a, an artist that is a famous portraiture, a por portrait photographer, whatever, um, and then it literally analyzes that artist. The selfies hurt my head. And then it combines that photography with your selfie and gives you a merged version of it. Wait, mm -hmm. isn't isn't How this awesome Instagram? Is that? No, it goes I don't beyond. Think it's awesome. it's really? not it's not filters. Huh. It's not a filter. It's actually like analyzing and changing Didn't the photo. Didn't Trey do this with mm. his app? <laughs> yeah, I just don't think it's awesome, but All um, right, moving on. I, I, but you know, I mean it's from MIT, so it's really good by their standards, so. It's a selfie, John. Just kidding, buddies at MIT. Harvard is better though. <laughs> no, it's not. I love you people from uh, Harvard, but MIT is why MIT. Do you, why do you love MIT so much? You didn't go to MIT. <laughs> I, I went to Harvard. I know you did. That's why. Th you're that's why she doesn't like Harvard. Such a anybody that would let me, no, anybody that would let me, in, she does not like. <laughs> she she has a. You know what your mistake is, Harvard. I went to Cali University. Harvard, do you know what your mistake was? You let me in. <laughs> you should never have done that. Yeah, it's really never. <laughs> Anywho. All righty. Let's next? talk about um, home-based automation system. No, let's talk about homey huh. speech-based automation. So there is a new Kickstarter project from a Dutch company 
that is building a speech-based home automation system that they call Homey. Yeah. It's um, inspired by the Star Trek voice controls where well, like you walk up and you're like this. The world is inspired by Star Trek. Isn't that a racist branding name? Yeah, homie, don't play no. that. You it, you just like this. You ever remember this? Earl Grey, hot. Right. And, and, the, and the, house, the house goes, sup, bro? Yeah, <laughs> that would be sweet. I want my house to say sup. That'd be sup. awesome. Sup. Um, sup, my brother. It uses oh, NFC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, infrared, Zigbee, Z-Wave, and has 433 megahertz radios for connection to smart devices. Um, it can use artificial intelligence and voice control. They have reached... Do we have a video? Yeah. Do we have oh, audio? Let's play it. Yeah. We do. Yeah. Oh, we'll play it. My finger's poised right over the button. Right Just there. hit it. <laughs> it's controlled by your voice. Hey, homie, I want to watch Star Trek. Would you like subtitles with that? Yes, yeah, subtitles, please. Nice. And launch Plex. Do you I notice that? For long ago, I just want it so that I can say, hey, homie. Yo, homie. Without sounding no, wrong. You can't say, hey, homie. That's the first She's, thing they need he, to fix. He said, hey, homie. No, what I'm saying is, that's wrong. Why? They need to fix that. Sup, homie? Yeah. Yo, homie. Yo, homie. You, you cannot use the word homie without the word yo in front of it. Yo, homie. <laughs> What's going to happen is people are going to come over and they'll say, hey, John, who go, hey, yo, homie, and the next thing you know, lights are coming on. That's true. That could happen. <laughs> sort of stuff. You're watching, like, Death Wish. That would be bad. That could happen at my house. It could happen, but you have to say, yo, homie. It's time for the web. Hit me with the Star Trek movie. Or oh, what's the up on Terminator the Terminator movie. How oh, about yeah. The Terminator. Huh? How about what would you happen? You know the famous chase scene. What would happen if you took Terminator 2 and you mashed it up with Grand Theft Auto 5? This is what would happen. Uh huh. There we go. Uh, you know the famous uh, Terminator 2 scene, the chase scene no, on the I motorcycle don't. and the truck? No, I'm not sure. This looks awfully familiar to me. Oh, yeah, kind of. No, yeah? no, I don't, I yeah, don't get it. Even what is it? Terminator 2? I have seen the clip. <laughs> uh -huh. See, I have seen the movie. They went driving down in here. They went driving down in the LA gutter thing. I did my research. The truck came off. <laughs> Bang. Oh, oh my God. Here's Schwarzenegger on the little motorcycle. Oh, that's the kid. That's the kid, yeah. Schwarzenegger's coming. Yeah, oh, that's he's right. not even the there yet. Is, is the one. kid's on the motor. The kid's on the little motorcycle. Schwarzenegger's on the big motorcycle. Little motorcycle about to get run over. Schwarzenegger comes over. Come with me if you want to live. Oh, he just crashed into that. I mean, he could have gone around See, it. See, here he no. is. Now watch. Now watch. Schwarzenegger's got to snag the kid. Hang on. Oh, here comes Schwarzenegger. Bang. Oh, yeah. Sure, the motorcycle would have survived that jump. No problem. <laughs> Speed on by, because by the way, don't let's not forget Schwarzenegger's a Terminator. Oh wait, oh, but yet a Terminator. Terminator? Sh but they're both joking. Oh, okay, so now the kid. Okay, there, the kid is with Schwarzenegger. Shoot a shoot a wheel out, shoot a tire out, crash the truck, and cut. And specifically, that was John Connor, not Schwarzenegger. I'm spent. And it's science time. Oh, yeah, what happened? Uh, I'm trying to get you out of here fast so you can go celebrate your dad's 70th birthday. I got to hang out with my dad. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm going to go hang out with my dad. <laughs> now, speaking of gas giant. Uh, <laughs> gas giant was, there was a planet. There was actually what they thought was a big gas giant, like a Jupiter planet. You know, Jupiter is not actually solid like the Earth. It's a gas. It's gassy. Yeah. It has a gas problem. Gassy. Just call me Jupiter. It's a gas problem. So they thought that any planet the size of a Jupiter would be basically a gas, same gas thing. thing, okay? But it turns out that they've now found another one. It's called Kepler 10C, which is actually solid like Earth. It's That's like awesome. a big giant. It's two and a half, 2.3 times the diameter of Earth. It's mega Earth. It's got 17 times the mass of Earth. That is fantastic. Can we go live there? No, there's no atmosphere. That's a problem. 
It's got, it's 11 billion years old, which means that it's actually older than they thought a lot of planets could even be. It formed like right at the beginning of the universe. So they're now they're thinking either A, what's wrong with my equipment that I use to measure this, <laughs> right. or B, uh, maybe we're wrong about how old you know things what? could we're, be. We're probably wrong about a lot of things. Uh, well, so speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm wrong about everything. But anyway, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's happening. And also, we were that we, just happened. We were talking about uh, Star Trek earlier, I think, in the opening. Yeah, sure, we were. Sometime we were talking about that Star was like Trek. Three shows ago. We've talked about <laughs> Star Trek once. <laughs> once or twice. We talked about Lavar Burton earlier. And that's he right. was in Star Trek. That's right. That's, that's where I enough. was going with that. Thank you, John, for Only saving me. Star Trek. That's right. Well, not they have figured out how to transport data like. They do in the transporter in Star Trek. Well, they have figured out how to move people around. Well, yes. And by move people around, what we mean is move quibits of people around approximately 10 feet. So they could take, like, maybe hmm. like a one quadrillionth of a piece of one of your eyelashes so, and transport it roughly over to my father. Hmm. But they're working so on the rest. They haven't created the They're practically there. They're practically there. And in fact, they're trying to get to where they can transport things up to 4,200 feet. For 10 feet to 4,200 feet is a long way to go for a piece of an eyelash. But it's still only a couple of like T tiny fractions of like an atom. Hmm. So they're gonna, so we're gonna get there as it, of 2015. I'm sure of it. What I'm telling you is there's a chance. <laughs> I know what movie that's from. <laughs> Do you? Yes, that one with the two boys, the two guys. Oh, uh, Dumb and Dumb. Yes, that, that you know, I it's so dumb that I don't even remember the name of it. Right. Is it robot time? Go ahead with your robots. All right. Uh, what do you have that's going to kill us today? Nothing that's going to kill you. I mean, yes, but not the first one. This first one, you like 3D printed stuff. I do like 3D printed I stuff. I like robots. Here's a 3D printed robot. What? Yes, his name is Jimmy. And Jimmy? look how cute he, he is. Actually, I got to admit, he's kind of cute. Isn't he? Can he do anything? Intel in, is working on this. He can pose. I like he that. He can pose. He can move. Um, he's like you. They are looking Pose. to create an affordable open sourced robot that they could sell for under $1,000, which would be incredible. Um, they've got a lot of connectivity options. Uh, I mean, he can use Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, XB. I'm hoping they open that up a little bit. But By the way, Bobbage just pointed out, oh no, our worst nightmare robots that can self-print 3D versions of themselves. Hey, John, wasn't this well, guy on Fantasy Island? <laughs> yeah, the plane, the plane. That's the guy from Fantasy Island. What's his name? The plane, the plane. His name is Jimmy John. Oh. Jimmy John. Jimmy John. <laughs> no. His Look, he actually does walk. Yes, of course he does. Oh wow! I thought that was just like a little demoy thing. He is. That is a real robot. Isn't he cute? I want Jimmy in my life. He's a what? He's a hobbot. He's a hobbot. Hob That's pretty funny, Dave. <laughs> That's cute. Dave's just. Dave's on he'll be here today. all week. Yeah. Tip your waitress. <laughs> so, uh, Tip your waitress. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, now I, I have to admit, I do, John, have one robot story. That's going to kill us all. That I'm pretty sure is going to kill us. And here it is. It's actually modeled after something that Great. is, that d d was designed to kill us, a, 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 a velociraptor. Okay, so, so let me just get this straight. There's some guy <laughs> who knows how to build robots, and he's sitting around going, you know what I need to do? I need, I need to make to... a velociraptor. Yeah, what? you know what? We haven't had velociraptors in a while. Let's just build one of those. Hey, we know what happened. Look, yeah, this is what happened. <laughs> this is stage two of that particular <laughs> project. Much. This, um, this, This thing even freaks me out. So it's top speed. Go back to him is 28.58 miles an hour, which is freaking fast for a little robot. Look at that thing. 
I wow. mean, I, I only go two miles on my treadmill. Two He's miles. going 28.58 miles an hour. I can do this all day, folks. <laughs> They're uh, working on a non-tethered version, so oh, <laughs> we'll look out. Oh, when, great. When they untether them, yeah. look out, everyone. <laughs> That's what you're going to get. Uh, for the first time ever, I have been on your side on the robots. Mm. I think the world is coming to an end. We don't believe you. We don't believe that. I mean, you're but challenging <laughs> a couple years. Yeah, no, it's not. In a because couple years, I'm going to get younger? You act like Callie's not one of them, okay? I mean, <laughs> oh, no, they'll they'll be, you know, I, I will have look, control we all over know them. You're, we, know, we all know you're their queen. Right. You're like, uh, yeah. what's that chick's name from that movie? Or the t there's the TV series where uh, where the aliens come to Earth. <laughs> No, it's a more it's a recent TV Falling Skies. Falling Skies. Yeah. And then there was the chick, the blonde chick who was the supreme commander of the aliens. What's her name? Somebody help me out in the Oh, in, you're thinking of Battlestar Galactica. No, Falling Skies. Oh, Falling Skies? No, I haven't Although seen Galactica. Although Battlestar Galactica Falling also Skies had the blonde chick who yeah. was in charge yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. hot there, it's always a hot chick. Who's well, then, in charge? In, in that case, it's well, then we know it's right. not me. It's, not her, so. it's a hot chick in charge of the people, or the aliens, or the robots is going to kill us all. Yep. What is her name? It Cinnamon Rob said, "Falling Skies returns 6:30." Not yeah. The Borg had their hive queen. Yeah, but she was kind of. No, I'm not talking, not about, talking v. about V. I'm talking about Falling Skies. There's the chick. She what was. Happened to she v, was actually anyway? human. They it's captured her. Then she became. What's her name? It starts with a C. Uh, not Maggie. No, <laughs> not Maggie. Uh, we went from aliens to 101 Dalmatians. What was her name? I, I watched the whole dang series. What was her name? And somebody, yeah. somebody's gonna look it up. So look up the TV show Falling Skies. Did, Find the blonde, the blonde chick who plays I can't the believe evil lady. So late on this. Did the new V only have like one season? Did they just didn't continue was, to produce that? Was there a TV that? show called V? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was one that they had when we there were There was the original, and then they had a new one that came out a couple of years ago. Karen. Joey Tech got it. Karen. That's it. Karen Not from... Christina yeah, so there's Christina Karen. Ritchie. There's Karen That's on Falling Sky. Day. And I guess, actually, now that I, now that you guys mention it, from V, Laura Vandervoot, is she, is she evil? Does she, does she lead the, all the people who are going to, like, kill humans? I don't know if she does. I don't remember. I, I haven't only seen the saw, show. like, I've never seen the original V. I've Kim only Bassinger seen in My Stepmother is an Alien. <laughs> See? It's always the hot chicks you gotta look out for. <laughs> All right, moving on. It's plane, trains, and automobiles time. Okay. Finally, nothing that'll kill us. <sighs> oh, this will kill you. Look at this. I'm unlike, looking at what's coming up, and I, I'm unlike a scared on the, of this. On the robot section, you play like they're all sweet and cuddly. I don't play like that at all. These things are manly and they will kill you good. Okay, first up, the GF7, which is a flying 550 mile per hour car slash jet designed by Greg Brown and an aerospace engineer named Dave Fawcett. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Foster. No, it seats four people. It's part high performance jet, part luxury car. 110 miles an hour electric powered road speed and 550 miles an hour air speed. It'll go 38,000 feet and it has a jet turbine with 3,500 pounds wow. foot of torque. Look, IT Sony Rob say says I'm dibs. Dibs, dibs. Dibs, 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 yes. Why haven't you called dibs, Dave? When the jet. I don't have my pilot's license yet. Right. When, I'll be dibbing soon enough. That never stopped me. When the jet <laughs> in, the jet turbine is on, it recharges the car batteries. The batteries for the car, I mean, you know. They're going to build the flying prototype in four years, within the next four years. And they think that they're going to build a production version for, I don't know, maybe in the $4, $4 million range. Wow. Yeah, it's a concept at the moment. But hey. I'll concepts tell you what it, never stopped us from talking about it before. That's right. I'll tell you what isn't a Sometimes concept. Sometimes concepts are the better, better option. What isn't a concept? The SpaceX Dragon V2. This ah. is a passenger module that's designed to ferry the astronauts to the International Space Station by who else? Uh, SpaceX. What, uh, well, SpaceX, which is also 
Elon Musk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Musk, the Tesla guy. He's like, you know what? It's not enough that I'm building electric cars to dominate the world. I'm going to space. Well, that's what these guys do. It's like uh, it. Virgin, um, yeah. like uh, Richard Branson. That's right. El Elon Musk and, and, and Richard Virgin, Branson. Yeah, Virgin Galactic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Virg, uh, 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 Mr. Virgin. Mr. Yeah. Um, what Sir, did I just say his name is? Sir Richard Branson. Richard Branson. Missouri. He picks up hot chicks, too. That's right. He picks up hot chicks. He, uh, he started that after you, right? He started before me. Oh. He did. I just didn't know it. And so yeah, then I somebody, felt pretty bad. Like we were showing off the pictures to somebody. We're telling the story. And somebody was like, oh, like Richard Branson. We were like, what? I was like, what? What are you talking about? Sure he doesn't, enough. Surely he doesn't do that. But he has not done it as much as me. I have picked up way more hot chicks than Sir Richard Branson has. I think, I think it's not John Pose. It's John Poser. <sighs> uh, it's unboxing time. All right. We only have two boxes to unbox, but we have two nice one. awesome ones. Yeah, I am excited. Ben, did we get that press release up yet? He doesn't know what you're talking about. Sure he does. The one oh. I sent hey, you he, this morning. Did he, did he cross over number 600 yet? Oh, probably. 600 what? Ben might have crossed over 600 uh, blog posts on, on the Geeky website. Really? I think he might yeah, be beating you. Wow. Yeah, he's beating me on blog posts. Yeah. But the question is, is he beating me on page views? Uh, I don't know. Nobody beats me on page views. <laughs> Nobody. Ever. And if they do, I'll just write a blog post. Why, Eric, why is universe. Curly fired? And it's Curly with two E's, what? not Y. What? Well, what did Curly do? I mean, he's just been the epitome of perfection today. Yeah, well, let's... I know, like, what you did. Let's what not go do? that far, okay? <laughs> I mean, you know, to be honest, of all the things for you to choose to question whether or not Curly got fired, that's pretty... That's not really the best he one. He gets fired to, every day. Yeah, I mean, he could get fired at any time. <laughs> Hey, we do a oh, check-in time. Let's do a check -in. Oh, Speaking yeah, of yeah. times, and Jassix, yes, uh, if you want to get an autograph, not don't just get an autograph. Make him come here to the Geek House Thank for the you, launch digital party. Phil. Thank you. What did your Phil say? Everybody, oh. check in. It's time to tell us where, where are you watching are from? You watching from we want to hear right from now. You. Go. Oh, for calling. Oh, for calling me a poser. Paul was first today, Lancashire, UK. Well, about time. Cork, Sparky's Ireland. on Cork Island, Ireland, though. Somerville, New Jersey. Stockton, California. Hutchinson, Kansas. Uh, Brisbane, Australia. Villa Park, Illinois. Baltimore, Maryland. Burlingame, California. Uh, Sacramento, California. Charlotte, North Carolina. Plano, Texas. Appleton, Wisconsin. Henderson, Nevada. Falls Church, Virginia. Liverpool, Liverpool New, New York. York. Kansas City, Missouri, uh, somewhere <laughs> Lots in Texas. Of Dixie blinds. <laughs> Magor, South Wales, uh, Smyrna, Georgia, Hiawatha, Kansas, Edmonton, Alberta, Irving, Texas, on my roof. Kokomo, Kokomo Indiana, Indiana, Paducah, Kentucky, Jules Minda, Dismark, Crintonson, Austria, Austin, Texas, Sulphur, Louisiana, Vienna, Austria, Dubuque, Muscatine. Finland, McKinney, Texas. Oh, it's Texas. going too fast. Uh, Faro, Portugal. Colorado Springs, Colorado, Robotlandia Pat in the Wick, Geek House in Finland. Netherlands, Middlesburg, UK, Colorado, uh, Cactus, Texas. Linkoping, Sweden. Sweden. Uh, Kent, UK. Berlin, Kent, UK. New York, Mallorca, Spain, the best island in the world. Fief. I think he or says Fife, five, Fife, five UK, UK, Hopedale, Mass, Oak South. Island, North Carolina, Sunnydale, California, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Imatra, Finland, Longview, Texas, Gamma Road, Dallas. Nice. S'more Sand, uh, Norway. Sand. Sorum Sand, Norway. Dallas, Texas, Queens, New York, uh, G -C -G -G -J, what are those initials? Uh, GJ, Colorado. Colorado. Bellingham, Grand Massachusetts. Grand Junction. Hertz, Ohio. Carrollton, Texas, Bolivar, Ohio, Gerald, Texas, New Brunswick, New Jersey. Athens, Greece. Yasu, Hollywood, what Florida. What said? It, Italy, Mansfield, Ohio, Denmark. Portland, Oregon. Nanakuli, Hawaii, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Santos, Sao Paulo. Sao uh oh, Paulo. Pop, you got to come read the Greece. Yeah, the what Greek, did he say? Greek for me, because I can't read it. Happy many years for your father to live. Oh. Oh, ah, that's yeah. Sweet. Happy birthday, Pop. I'm impressed that John actually Sorry, pronounced Sorry, my Greek Muscatane is terrible. Right. Nice. Montreal, Canada, uh, Dragon Space Module, Texas. <laughs> Houston, space. Texas, Logandale, Nevada, Hell Burning yeah. Bridges, Austria. Nice. You guys are awesome. Shocker says Ibiza is better than Mallorca. 
Uh, Mansfield, Ohio, Denmark. Did you already say these? Nanakuli, uh, Hawaii. Did. Okay. But you can say them again. Pen <laughs> Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Houston, Texas, Longendale, Nevada. John's and Champagne. Joey Tech, w w we're in Charlotte. Lotus, Terry Texas. is in Ballantine. Glen Heights, Texas. All these Texas people who never actually come to see us. Well, yeah, because it's like they, they're practically next door, right? They may exactly. only be 12 hours away in Texas. Exactly. <sighs> You guys are awesome. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Thanks for joining for us from everywhere. For spending your time with us. Um, I don't know why you'd want to do that. My contact is all of a sudden. Oh, do you need to fix it? There you go. Woo. Yeah, Paris says hello I'm to my cry. sons in Killeen, Texas. And Tristan is in Pembroke, Ontario. Nice. Burlingame, California. We're still going. Stay Julie, Julie Quebec. Stay Julie, Quebec. Stay Julie, Quebec. Stay Julie, Quebec. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Burlingame, California. We saw that one earlier. Charlotte, working in the city. Literally. Nice. I think I'm going to Mr. Yero's on the way home in honor of ja John's dad's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> there you go. Right, Good plan. It. Ooh, yeah. I want a Euro. I haven't had a Euro. I do too, now that you mentioned I haven't mentioned. had a Euro since Seattle. I want some lamb kebabs. And guess, that Seattle Euro was really good. Yeah, guest 9914 said hi to my son in Dallas. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, we should drink some Uzo okay. in honor of your dad. And I mean that good Ooh. stuff. Let's oh, open some boxes. Uzo is not good. I love Uzo. We got Ooh. two boxes. Okay. This let's is box do it. number one. Box. What one. do we have? Box number one. Oh, ST is pronounced Saint. Oh, okay. I uh, get it Got now. It. This is Amped Wireless. Is this under embargo? Uh, I don't know. You're the one who talked to them about it. You unbox something else. We only have two unboxings. Okay, that open one, up we're not the other sure thing. We're supposed to be unboxing, so we're gonna unbox this one, which we, was. We which, should actually make a you know a, a point of not putting things on the set that are under yeah, embargo. Yeah. Guess what? This one was this one was under embargo, <laughs> but they told us we could do it anyway. Yay! Yay! This is from our friends over at Dyson, the best vacuum cleaners in the universe. And this is a brand new Dyson that really sucks, people. It sucks. <laughs> Are we gonna die? This is the new Digital Slim. DC-59. They say that this thing is more powerful than even giant, like, big yeah. ones. Yeah, I cannot wait to play with this. It I, says... I, I, I am just going to hold up to every stereotype in the world. And nice. Be a woman who loves to vacuum. This says 75% more brush bar power. Okay. New brush bar with direct drive motor. A digital motor V6 generates powerful suction, spinning what? up to 110,000 RPM. What? It yep. doesn't have a V6. I read that. <laughs> so what the box The says. Dyson Digital Motor V6. Well, wow, that's just awesome the name of it. It doesn't have a V6 motor. 24 <laughs> minutes of <laughs> cleaning time. If it had a If it had a V6 engine, that would be so <laughs> sweet. Can you imagine? You fill it with gas and then you go and vacuum the house. That would be so cool. Oh, it's oh, got a, wow. it's cool looking. Hey, look at that. They're, Dysons are always cool well, looking. Well, Dysons always, yeah, they're designed well. Okay. This thing is heavy duty right here. They're like the Apple regular vacuum. They really are. Yeah. They're like the Apple uh, of vacuums. Okay. Uh, so we're allowed to open yes, this? Yes, we can, we'll we can do that talk in a about that. We'll do that in a minute. I just first had all, a, a nagging suspicion at the first when I first saw that. We have lots of accessories here, so we Look have to this. check them out. This is my laser saber. Or not. Really or not. Laser saber, you went with the generic name. You can't even say lightsaber like it's supposed to be. Right. Wow. <laughs> it's the extender. I don't want to be in an office space. Like <laughs> all right, you can go out in the up desk central. And not even have an office. How about that? Ooh, this moves. I don't know what it is yet, but it moves. You don't know what it is. Uh, I can't it believe looks like a charger. Wall open. fix it. Oh, this is the wall charger. Oh, nice. Woo! Wow. Wow. <laughs> now it's just, it just looks like a model, huh? <laughs> Hair blowing in the wind. I found my new hair dryer. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> That thing really sucks. <laughs> Look, here's the uh, 
Wow, that thing has all kinds of hinges and stuff. Hinge action, you see that? It swivels all over the place. Yeah, I think that the little one you can use to vacuum yeah. the car probably. Well, but I think you'd have to, well, you know what? Yeah, here, let me see the other end of that. Uh, oh, there you go. Ow, ow. <laughs> Look at the other side of it. Look, show off the glass. Nice. Pretty, pretty soon they'll have strings in here just wrapped all around. I know. It oh, sounds too, like a. It's too beautiful to actually use. It sounds like a spaceship. <laughs> so here's the charger. Wow. So. Uh, Tiny little one. Yeah, this thing obviously plugs into the wall, but if I could get this thing unpackaged here, it's got some heavy duty tape on it. Ah. Hawkman, you should do their commercials and just let your hair blow around like that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Nice. <laughs> oh, I have 3% battery life. Oh, sweet. I'm going to steal this. So uh, this plugs here. into this somewhere. Uh, I have to read the instructions, maybe. Maybe like through here. Nice. Paris oh, says. It goes into the oh, yeah, through there. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out later. So those are the accessories. Cool. Now we're going to see just how much this thing sucks. <laughs> nice. You have vacuum Yeah. Hey. hey, it's getting stuff up. It really does suck pretty good. Wow. And it doubles as a, uh, it, like if it's hot in the house, the fan is coming right out of this end, like <laughs> cooling you off. Yeah. Every woman can look like a supermodel. <laughs> Why's it got to be women? Oh, wait, there's a button right here that says max. Oh. This is normal. What's max? Nice. Now, come on. That's Why like wouldn't having, you use Max? That's like having a turbo button. Who would ever not have the turbo button pushed? If you have 11 on the dog, on then, the then you, you always go, go to 11. Yeah. Very okay. cool. Cool. It'll last twice as long. Huh? It'll last twice as long. Who cares? It says Max. <laughs> Scott, come on. Scott right. bought a Prius, okay? So <laughs> that kind of tells you he's not like into max power. His car doesn't go to 11. Yeah, he's like, I'm all about efficiency and practicality. And I'm like, it says max on it. Why would you not use max? He's like, I don't understand. This does not compute. It's the Turbo V6 Dyson. That's, That's right. what we're naming it. That's all right, right. So this amped wireless is not under embargo. Yay. And it is the Turbo V6 Wireless, wireless range extender. Yes. Now, Amped, if you're not familiar with Amped Wireless, they make long range, like heavy duty wireless access points and stuff, okay? Yep. So that's their deal is they design these things with like maximum range and output in mind. So I guess this is the newest one. Dual band, what does it say? Let's see, high power dual band oh, range extender. Oh, it's 600 extender. milliwatts of gigabit wireless Ooh. here. Uh, Rick 802. Calls dibs on this. It's 2.4 gigahertz plus 5 gigahertz simultaneous A, B, G, and N ba bands nice. all together. So what do we get here? Oh wow, it's rubberized. Ooh. You know, whenever I like people send, things. I know why. When we we are like, we oh wow, like, Ooh. it is rubberized. It's sexy. Yeah, and it knows it. Like we do. There's like <laughs> something about the rubberized. How can you not? So. Uh, it's got two antennas, power, and it looks like, let's see you here on see, the back. Is this a speaker? No, I think that is, <laughs> I think <laughs> that's probably for cooling. I'm okay, guessing yeah, it's maybe. a perforated thing for cooling. What do we have on the back? We got five wired, I'm guessing those are gigabit ethernet ports. And we've got a USB uh, port here, which I am assuming you would be able to plug in like a... Uh, a hard drive and maybe turn it into a network accessible yeah. um, accessory. That's my guess. Awesome. Screw these little bad boys on here. Nice. So what we will do with this is we will hook it up 
and see what the range does. Of course. Um, but it's been our cool. experience in the past that uh, these guys build good stuff. I don't if know how much it costs. Have, if we didn't have Ken putting in crazy amounts of Wi-Fi in the geek house, we would need something like this. Yes, indeed. But this a lot of people in their houses or their offices need to extend the range of Wi-Fi. So that's true. These things are amazing little devices. You stick one of these like right in the middle of the place, uh -huh. and bam! Bam! Everything because is, is covered. To be clear, 600 milliwatts. Like most of your most of your routers and things probably only put out like a hundred milliwatts. This is six times the yeah. power. Okay, so you stick one right in the middle of everything, and bam, your range goes nuts. Yeah. Like if you have a really big house or a small business or something. Okay, uh, you guys look it up, Hawkman. How much is it? Oh yeah, you definitely. You, if you are having a war with your neighbors, you get one of these and you set it up so that your SSID says is. Ha ha sucka, I win. <laughs> That's the wireless access point you connect to in your house. Ha ha sucka, I win. Hey, Spin Monkey from Cardiff, UK. Now, uh, Hawkman actually asked a quick, great question. Which was? <clears throat> John Sr., do you carry a knife with you? No. Okay. He doesn't carry a knife. So John is that's that's just a John thing. That's right. Thing. Now it's whether not a John Sr. thing. You didn't ask whether he carries a gun, okay? <laughs> But, you know. And no, Bruce, uh, I don't think I'm going to be out on the lake this weekend. I haven't been able to get out there for a couple weeks. I'm on a boat. Because i got a lot of stuff to do with the building. And I leave town on Monday. We'll be working on the new building all weekend. Yeah. She will be. I'm going to take it easy and just send her up there to work on <laughs> right. the building. Well, you have family in town, so. Not really. I work on the building. Maybe we'll put your family to work. Hey, hey, maybe some viewers want to yeah. come and do our floors. Yeah. Your we'll nieces, see, uh, your we'll nieces see how are, well are nieces trained. Can do that. I, I gave them a power drill earlier while uh, while I was, uh, you know. Really? And they, they did fantastic ones. <laughs> <laughs> I put them to work sweeping. Actually, you would be a great stepmother. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Awesome. Well, guys, built to be a stepmother. thank you so much for hanging around and watching our ridiculous 141st episode. As a reminder, we will be gone. There will be no Geek Beat Live for many weeks. Maybe never come back at all. <laughs> hey, stop that. I'm just saying it to build up anticipation. <laughs> okay. I want We're never coming back unless you buy a plaque on the Geek House Wall of Fame. That's right. Unless you get a plaque <laughs> on the Geek House Wall of Fame. Uh, oh, and or by become the way, a patron we, at geekbeat.tv forward slash patrons. We had some people uh, we'll never order be back. plaques, so a huge will. thanks. So that's a t-shirt order. So go buy t-shirts as well. Uh, oh, we yeah. had when um, are our t-shirts Hubert arrive? actually from the chat room bought a Hubert plaque. Hubert bought a plaque. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Awesome. And uh, we do have our new um, t-shirts. Yes. Designs on order. People have been asking order. about the t-shirts. They, they're on order. Uh, they're supposed to be making the prototypes and getting them to us. We've been through a lot to, uh, of. Do uh, <laughs> John P's nieces fix things too? No. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, actually, they do. Yeah, they do yeah. fix things. Well, they're, they're one's like two kids, and one's four, so, so they fix things yeah, a lot. Yeah, they fix things. Anyway, um, sorry, the t-shirts. We've been through a lot of iterations with those, and they are now actually making them. They'll be sending them to us any, I would expect them any day at this point. And when they arrive, we will put them on and model them for you so that we can Don't you show see off mod John model what they're going to be like. Bobbage, uh, no, Bobbage can't wait for his new T-shirt so he can stop walking around naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. that was and with that, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with us each and every day. Don't forget, you can watch the teardown of this building and the move into the new Geek House at geekbeat.tv. Starting now. Drop cam. All right. No, maybe not now. Not now. We're not going to tear down right this second. Yep. But John is going to go tear down some stuff for John Sr.'s party. We're going to tear down the house. It's party time. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye.